Recent studies show that one in four men are testosterone deficient, and since 1990, average testosterone levels in men have dropped 30%. This means that statistically, you are nowhere near as badass as your grandpappy was. I know that I sure am not. But making sure you have appropriate levels of testosterone is critical because it directly impacts critical functions of your manhood. Namely, things like sex drive and libido, muscle mass and strength, bone density, mood and mental health, energy levels, cognitive function, and confidence. So what's causing this and how do we fix it? Let's talk about 10 natural ways to increase your testosterone levels. The first way is to exercise regularly. One of the societal changes that's happened over the years is that men are living a more sedentary lifestyle. Many people are either working remote jobs and sitting at a desk all day, or going into an office and sitting at a cubicle. Most men's job doesn't demand physical labor, and also, we're just getting lazier as a society in general. Things just come to us a lot easier now, food is on demand, we can pick up things whenever we want it, and with the rise of social media, people are often going for that quick dopamine hit of scrolling through their phone instead of actively going out and doing something. And when it comes to exercise, studies show that the most impactful way to increase testosterone is specifically through doing things like weightlifting and high intensity interval training. More specifically, weightlifting that recruits your large muscle groups, like your hamstrings, quads, chest, back, core, biceps, and triceps. And more specifically, exercises that target these muscle groups with compound movements. That's things like squats, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, rows, and cleans. These type of compound movements target multiple muscle groups, which has been statistically shown to release more testosterone than isolated movements. The next way to increase your testosterone levels is to eat a healthy and balanced diet. Let's face it, there's an obesity epidemic that's happening, and excess body fat, especially abdominal fat, leads to many hormonal imbalances. One in particular is reduced testosterone levels. What you should focus on eating is a diet that's rich in whole foods. And this should contain a good balance of all of your macronutrients, which is your fat, your protein, and your carbs. Foods that address these categories are things like lean meats, fatty fish, eggs, dark leafy greens, nuts and seeds, and fruit. If you just focus on eating real food, you're going to be much better off. So basically just try to avoid all of the processed junk that is so easy to access at the grocery store. One of the things that you can do is just focus on shopping around the perimeter of the grocery store. Because more often than not, everything in the middle is processed junk, which is lowering your tea levels. The next way to increase your T levels is to manage your stress. We live in a stressful world that is inundated with lots of information flooding our brains every minute. Chronic stress elevates the cortisol hormone, which can negatively impact testosterone. Start incorporating daily practices that help you manage your stress so mindfulness practices like meditation or journaling, having a gratitude practice, going for walks outside, taking active breaks to step away from your computer, reducing your social media consumption, these are all things that can really help to reduce your stress levels and help you improve your testosterone. Next is to get enough sleep. Sleep can also be directly related to our previous point of managing your stress. If you are low on sleep, you're also going to be increasing those cortisol levels. I firmly believe that people do not invest nearly as much into their sleep environment, their sleep conditions, and their sleep habits. The quality of your sleep is absolutely crucial. Most adults need seven to nine hours a night, and having poor sleep will dramatically reduce your testosterone levels. Things I do on a nightly basis to help me sleep better Better is I eliminate consuming blue light, especially on my phone for a couple of hours before bed. I instead read on my Kindle paper white and that helps me fall asleep naturally. I have blackout curtains in my room. I wear a silk eye mask to keep it as dark as possible. And I keep the temperature around 66 degrees because having colder temperatures in your room have been proven to help you sleep better through the night. Now this next tip should come as a natural byproduct of following the previous testosterone boosting tips that I gave you earlier, and that is to maintain an ideal body weight. This is probably the most important thing that any man can do. As belly fat increases, there is an increase in activity of the enzyme aromatase, which converts testosterone in the fat cells into estrogen. This obviously reduces testosterone and increases estrogen, which can increase fat deposition in typical female areas. And those are areas like your chest, your hips, and your thighs. It also can increase the enlargement of your prostate 
and even cause an increased risk for prostate cancer. With every one point drop in your BMI or your body mass index, your testosterone level will increase by one point. In fact, there are some studies that show management of obesity may prevent declining total testosterone in the aging male. Okay, the next way to boost testosterone is to avoid excess alcohol use. Testosterone levels may drop as quickly as 30 minutes after you drink alcohol, and more than two drinks increases the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. In addition to alcohol hurting your testosterone production, it can also lead to reduced testicular function and testicular atrophy, which we all know we don't want. And with that said, let's move on to the next tip. Get outside and go get some sun. Vitamin D has been linked to higher testosterone levels and getting regular exposure to sunlight will help your body naturally produce more testosterone. Unfortunately, many of us are trapped inside all day staring at a computer. So you have to be actively aware of this and take the time for yourself to get out into the sunshine and absorb some of those natural beautiful rays and up those testosterone levels. Now, if you're like many people and you're not in a place where you can consistently get sunshine, that's where this next tip comes into play. And that's to take some natural supplements that will help you boost your testosterone production. And one of the key ones obviously is a vitamin D supplement. I personally take one every single day. I'll link the one that I use down below. I think it's a no brainer. Even if you live in an area where you get a lot of sunshine, most people should be taking a vitamin D supplement. And it's also shown to help many other things like reducing your risk of heart disease. The other supplement that I personally take every night before I go to bed to help with testosterone production is magnesium. Magnesium plays a crucial role in muscle function, the nervous system and energy production. It also helps to maintain blood sugar and blood pressure. There's also many other benefits of supplementing magnesium, which most people are deficient in and that's improved bone health reduction in headaches better sleep less anxiety and improved cardiovascular activity the next way to increase testosterone is to remove exposure to endocrine disruptors now what the hell are endocrine disruptors endocrine disruptors are natural or man-made chemicals that may mimic or interfere with the body's hormones also known as the endocrine system so an endocrine disruptor would block a hormone from certain receptors. And endocrine disruptors that affect testosterone are chemicals that are primarily found in plastics, personal care products, and pesticides. Now I'll go into more details about each one of those and talk about how you can avoid them. For plastics, you've probably heard of something called bisephenol A, also known as BPA. This is a very common chemical found in a lot of plastics, and there's a few ways that you can avoid it. One is don't microwave food in plastic containers. Two, avoid plastic containers that have the numbers three, six, or seven engraved in the triangle of the product. Three, when you're buying things that are made of plastic, make sure it's BPA free, especially if it's something that you're putting water in. And four, you should also try to avoid styrofoam containers. Now the chemicals found in personal care products are called phthalates. These chemicals are often used in plastics, coatings, bindings, and lubricants. And many of them are found in our daily hair care products like shampoos and conditioners. I'll provide a useful link below that's a guide to phthalate free products that I think would help you out. And lastly, the chemicals that are found in pesticides are known as organophosphates. And these are typically found in foods that are sprayed with chemicals that are not organic. So when and if possible, try to eat organic produce if you can. And the last way to increase testosterone naturally is to have achievements in your life. Achieving goals or succeeding in challenging tasks increase self-esteem and confidence, which are psychologically linked to higher testosterone levels. This is because the sense of accomplishment and positive feedback that you get from achieving something significant can stimulate the body's endocrine system to increase testosterone production. So there's a lot of ways to get achievements in your life, whether that be Goal setting at work, goal setting in your personal life, playing in a competitive recreational sports league, giving yourself a house project that you want to complete. It can really be a variety of things, but I think the important thing is give yourself something to work towards that is achievable, but you know you'll get a good feeling when you complete it. On this channel, we're all about different ways to help you become the achiever that you're meant to be and ways that you can really become the best version of yourself. I post content like this weekly. I hope this helped you out today. I recommend you check out this long form video I made about reprogramming your subconscious so that you can truly put yourself in the best position to achieve everything you want in life. Until next time, my friends, be well.